KateMonoRabbits.com and in today's video I'm gonna be talking all about a rabbit's diet. So obviously the most important thing in a rabbit's diet, as in any animal's diet, is unlimited water. So water should be given to rabbits out of a dish as this is most natural for rabbits to drink out of. It is easier for them to stay hydrated when drinking from a dish and there's no chance of malfunctioning like with a water bottle. Water bottles are just not natural for rabbits to drink out of and that's why water dishes are preferred. A lot of people wonder how to use dishes with rabbits because rabbits tend to spill their water dishes easily. So because of that, I wanna recommend using these straight edge water dishes. You literally can get them at Walmart, Target, in the human dish aisle. And they're just straight up and down edges, which makes it so that the rabbit can't tip it over. And they're also super heavy, so the rabbit can't grab it and like throw it. Some people have issues with the rabbit getting their water dish really messy. A good tip for this is to put it on the other side of the room that you keep your litter box and hay in, just so that there's no chance of like hay getting like thrown into the water dish or like messing it up. But obviously the water dishes are gonna get messy just like with any water dish for any animal. That is why you need to empty them out rinse them out and refill them at least two times a day. This helps make sure no bacteria buildup is getting in there. I personally recommend using filtered water. I use filtered water for my bunnies, I always have. So I recommend using either the water from your refrigerator if your refrigerator has one of those filters in it. Otherwise, if you don't have that, you can buy one of those pure water filters. I used to use one of these as well. You can also buy the little pure water filters that connect right to your sink. I've also done that as well. And last but not least, do not ever add anything to your rabbit's water dish unless it was somehow recommended by a vet. I am not familiar with any treatments that do this, but I do know there are products out there sold for rabbits to like dump in their water dishes to help with like smell or whatever. Never use those with bunnies. They are not good for them. You should just be giving plain water. The next most important thing in your rabbit's diet is unlimited grass hay. Grass hay should be provided to your rabbit 24 seven at all times. This is because rabbit's digestive systems must always be moving, meaning they must always have food in their digestive system to survive. Otherwise, their digestive system will shut down, causing GI stasis. So that's why hay must be provided 24 seven. It's also very, very important to help wear down your rabbit's teeth. I've had a lot of people ask if they could use hay cubes or like hay pellets or something instead of hay because they're allergic to hay, but no, rabbits must have grass hay because the hay and the fibers in the hay is what helps wear down the rabbit's teeth. If your rabbit's just eating a hay cube or anything like that, they're only using like, they're using different parts of their teeth and the grass with the fibers in it is not wearing down their molars. It's kind of hard to explain, but it must be grass hay. Hay is best provided above a litter box or inside a litter box. This is because rabbits like to eat and poop at the same time, so it really helps with litter training. So I recommend either like a hay box or a hay rack above the litter box. This really helps cut down on hay waste because the rabbit isn't like pooping and peeing on it. But some rabbits aren't able to use these just because they don't like them or like for my rabbit, she has really bad arthritis and isn't able to eat out of a hay rack or a hay box. So in this case, you can just put a pile of hay in the rabbit's litter box. You are just gonna have a little bit more hay waste than you would with like a hay box or a hay rack system. But whatever your rabbit prefers, that is what's best. If you're using a litter box, make sure that you are changing out the hay like at least twice a day to make sure it's all nice and fresh and not peed on. So any grass hay is fine to feed. Do not feed alfalfa or clover as this is really high in fat and really high in calcium, which is not good for adult rabbits and it can cause urinary issues, excess calcium, which could cause urinary stones or something like that. The most common types of grass hay are Timothy hay and orchard grass. All of these can be ordered online or you can go to a local farm and buy hay bales that way. Uh, a lot of the times, really nice horse quality hay is really good for rabbits, but you just have to be careful with farm hay because a lot of the time there is clover and alfalfa in those. So you have to really look at the hay bale, make sure there's no clover or alfalfa. So you need to familiarize yourself with what alfalfa looks like and what clover looks like if you are to go this route so that you know if the hay bale is safe. 
Otherwise, you can order hay in bulk online. I personally do both farm hay and bulk hay online. Uh, just kind of mix it up. I would personally just stay away from the really cheap quality hay that's sold in pet stores in really small amounts. A lot of the times it's been sitting on the shelf for a very long time and it's probably losing nutrients. That's why I prefer like ordering in bulk online because it's literally just half a hay bale that they put in a box and ship to your house. So that's what I prefer. It's also a very good idea to add a variety of hay to your rabbit's diet. Because hay is so important for rabbits to eat, it's good to have a variety so that they are constantly excited about it, constantly eating it, and this really helps with digestive health as well as teeth health. What I like to do is I buy like a main hay, this is what I call it. So I normally use like orchard grass or timothy hay, whatever's cheapest, and I use that for the bulk of their diet. So that's what I put in their hay boxes above their litter box. I just fill them full of timothy hay or orchard grass, whatever I'm using. And then I call them treat hays, even though they're not really treat hays. These are types of hay that might be more expensive such as like meadow hay or sometimes I use orchard grass for this uh, just any hay that you can't really buy in bulk so it tends to be a little bit more expensive but I still want my rabbits to be able to eat it so I buy uh, small quantities of those and I fill up little treat toys with uh, that type of hay. Uh, I just think that helps provide a lot of variety for your rabbit. And I find my rabbits get really excited about hay when it's new and different. So I find that this is a really great thing. Another thing I wanna mention about hay is to make sure that it is green. Any hay that is like yellow or brown or whatever is not gonna have the nutrients in it that your rabbit needs. Most hay companies that you buy online are gonna have nice fresh green hay. And it's totally fine to have little bits of brown pieces in it, that just happens from from the sun when the hay is drying in the field some pieces will get like sunburned or I don't know what it's called but the majority of the hay should be fairly green the next most important thing in your rabbits diet are leafy greens leafy greens are gonna provide the rest of your rabbits nutrients that they aren't getting from their hay so these are very very important to give to your rabbits on a daily basis the standard amount of veggies to give to your bunny is about one cup for every two pounds of body weight Obviously, always check with your vet and make sure this amount is good for your rabbit. Your vet will have a say on whether you should increase this or decrease this based on your rabbit's weight or your rabbit's health or your rabbit's specific needs. But one cup for every two pounds of body weight is a general starting point. You wanna provide at least three different types of veggies every single week so that your rabbit is getting a variety and different types of nutrients from the veggies. You also wanna make sure that when you buy veggies the next week, that you are adding different types of veggies than you did the week before. The veggies you feed are gonna depend a lot where you live, the time of the year, and other things like that. But for me, I tend to kind of pick like the four to five different veggies I think are great. You don't have to just do three different veggies, but three different veggies is the minimum amount that you should give. So I tend to do about four different types or five different types every week and I just kind of rotate those. Obviously, it's gonna depend on what's good and what's fresh. For those of you guys wondering what veggies are safe for bunnies, I will have a link in the description bar below that you guys can go at the House Raptor Society and look at their recommended veggies list because it would take like forever for me to name them all. So um, there'll be a list there and it explains everything that's safe. There's also a couple veggies that are high in oxalic acid that you need to be careful and not feed too much of. Uh, parsley and spinach are two of those veggies, but they have the whole list there on the House Rabbit Society that I will leave linked down below. So other types of veggies that are not leafy greens are not included in that one cup for every two pounds of body weight. That is for leafy greens only. For other veggies such as like carrots or I don't know, I'm trying to think of like other non-leafy veggies, but anything like that, you should only be feeding one tablespoon for every two pounds of body weight. But this is not required in a rabbit's diet. There's nothing that says they need to have like hard veggies every day because those are not as normal in a rabbit's diet as leafy greens are. For example, like in the wild, rabbits are gonna eat a lot more leafy uh, types of plants than they would like a carrot. <laughs> but they can be given as treats. Just make sure you don't go over one tablespoon for every two pounds of body weight. Another question you may have is when can you start feeding leafy greens to your bunny? So rabbits can start eating veggies as early as 12 weeks of age as long as they've been on a grass-based hay for at least 
two weeks prior. That is because your rabbit needs to be on a grass-based hay for at least two weeks to properly prepare their gut to be able to handle the veggies. So veggies are completely normal for rabbits to eat. In the wild, rabbits eat grass, they eat other plants like that, as well as roughage, which is kind of like hay. So veggies are very important, and a lot of people think veggies shouldn't be fed, but that is not true. If introduced properly, your rabbit will have no issues with veggies, and they provide a lot of important nutrients to your rabbit. So when you're introducing veggies, make sure one, your rabbit has been on grass-based hay for two weeks prior. Make sure they're at least 12 weeks of age. And when you're introducing veggies, start super small. Whenever I start my bunnies on veggies for the first time, I literally take like a fourth of a leaf of lettuce and that's it. For 24 hours, I watch them, see how they do. And then if they're fine the next day, I give them that much again. And then maybe in like three or four days, if they're handling that fine, I'll maybe give them a half a piece of lettuce instead of a fourth. And then I literally go so slow with it. And sometimes when you're introducing a new veggie in the beginning, they might have a little bit of runny poop. And if that happens, immediately stop that veggie and wait for their poops to come back to normal before introducing veggies again. So just remember, as long as they're not having runny poop, you are fine. But if they do have runny poop, it just means one, you're introducing something too quickly, or two, just to like, go back to the veggie that they were doing good on and introduce that one a little bit later on. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so the next thing in a rabbit's diet is treats. This is not required, of course, but treats are a very good idea to have on hand. They're very helpful for bonding with your rabbit. You can do clicker training with treats. And of course, treats are just fun to give to any animal. So I'm gonna go over the safe treats you can give. So fruit is honestly the number one best option for rabbits. I personally don't give anything processed to my bunnies. I don't give any processed treats or anything like that. I don't care what's in it. I just don't give it unless it's like 100% fruit. So if you're feeding fruit to your bunny as a treat, you want to make sure you aren't giving them too much. So the recommended amount is about one teaspoon for every two pounds of body weight. You can give fresh fruit or you can give dehydrated or freeze dried fruit as long as there's nothing else added and it's just 100% fruit in the ingredients. And if you guys want a list of safe fruit, you can also check the description. It's going to be in that same link with all the safe veggies and you can just go through there and make sure that the fruit you are giving is safe. Other types of treats you can give are like dried herbs. Those are very healthy and safe for bunnies to eat. I'm gonna be selling dried herbs again on my store on 101rabbits.com if you guys wanna check that out. They probably won't be up yet, but I should be posting them in the next couple of weeks. Um, my bunnies really like dried herbs. As far as other treats sold in pet stores, I personally don't recommend them. I wouldn't honestly get anything from a pet store unless it was 100% fruit. Uh, I just don't trust anything processed. My rabbits have had really bad reaction to processed treats, even the really high quality nice ones. So personally, I just don't give them at all. Another thing that's really important in your rabbit's diet is sticks. So this is gonna sound really weird, but rabbits in the wild eat a lot of roughage. Obviously hay is the majority of your rabbit's roughage intake, but in the wild rabbits eat a lot of bark, they eat a lot of sticks, they eat a lot of different grasses. So this is where different toys and different sticks come in handy because it is something rabbits really enjoy chewing on. But this is really important in your rabbit's diet, not only for enrichment, but for their diet as well, as in the wild rabbits are eating sticks and bark and stuff like that. A lot of the times in the winter when there's less leafy greens available, those are some of the things they're gonna be chewing on. Sticks do not help rabbits molars grind down. That's what the hay is for but it is still important for them to eat these things as it does provide a lot of enrichment and it's healthy for them. So make sure that you're not just grabbing sticks from your backyard because a lot of the times they could have pesticides or um, your neighbors could be treating their lawn with something and that could have something dangerous in it. Um, you also wanna make sure the type of stick you are feeding is safe. Um, I personally like giving willow as willow is very, very safe and rabbits love willow. So I do have some toys on my online store right now at 101rabbits.com and I will be adding more in the future such as like 
willow balls, willow rings, I've got like willow teepees, I've got grass mats. All of those things are really good for your rabbit to chew on. And last but not least, we are gonna talk about pellets. As you may have noticed, I have not mentioned pellets yet in this video, and that's because I don't recommend feeding pellets to a rabbit. All of my rabbit savvy vets that I have talked to, they're all exotic trained, they're all experienced with rabbits, they all are up to date in research. All of them have recommended not to feed pellets to rabbits. If you are feeding all the veggies and the hay and everything else I talked about earlier in this video, pellets are not required and are not necessary. And a lot of the times pellets are causing more issues than they are actually helping anything. If your rabbit already has all the nutrients it needs, it doesn't really need a pelleted form to give them anything. A lot of pellets are full of like chemicals or ingredients that rabbits don't naturally eat and don't need to be eating. And even some of the more natural pet based pellets out there, like the ones that are majority grass hay and then have a couple of other things in them, those are still not necessary in a rabbit's diet and can cause more harm than good. Some of the issues that pellets can cause with rabbits is GI slowdown because pellets move a lot slower through a rabbit's digestive system than veggies, hay, or anything more natural. That's because they are so processed that it takes the gut more time to break down the pellet as it moves through the digestive system. This can be harmful because if your rabbit is eating pellets and then eating something like hay or veggies that is moving quicker through the digestive system, this can cause the pellets to be moving very slow and the hay and everything else to be moving faster and it's slowing down the gut. A lot of rabbits can eat pellets their entire lives and have no issues but a lot of rabbits do have issues from pellets and people just aren't realizing it. If your rabbit is chronically getting GI stasis, this definitely would be probably one of the first things I'd recommend doing is removing pellets from your diet. A lot of the times GI stasis is actually coming from the pellet itself because it's slowing down the digestive system or there's something inside the pellet that is not setting right with your rabbit. Another issue you can have is urinary issues. I've had two of my bunnies have urinary issues from pellets as well as processed treats, which is why I don't give anything processed to my bunnies anymore. There's just a lot of calcium inside of pellets and some processed treats, and that can cause a lot of urinary issues. Another big issue that I see a lot in rabbits who are fed pellets is leaving their cecotropes. Rabbits are supposed to eat their cecotropes. If you are not familiar with this, rabbits have a cecum, which they excrete cecotropes from their anus and they eat them. This is how a rabbit was designed to survive. They eat their food and then it gets digested, goes into their cecum, comes out as cecotropes. They eat the cecotropes so that they are redigesting those nutrients. This is something that the rabbit has to redigest those nutrients to really get everything out of everything they're eating. If you are feeding your rabbits pellets, a lot of the times those are just excess nutrients that your rabbit doesn't need and they'll start leaving cecotropes around the floor, around your house, and one, it's messy, and two, it's abandoning the way a rabbit should be eating. Rabbits should be eating all of their cecotropes, and if they're not, that means their diet is unbalanced, meaning there's too much nutrients, or it could also be sign of another illness, so of course take your rabbit to the vet if you are seeing this. If you're ever wondering what to listen to when it comes to rabbits' diets, please don't listen to the pet food companies, because remember, they are making money off of you, so if they are saying claims like, free feed your rabbit pellets and they'll never get sick again, like, no, <laughs> they are just making money off of all of those pellets you are buying. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new about rabbits diets. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave any questions you have down below. I'm not sure I'll be able to get to all of them, but please look at the link I left in the description. That will answer a lot of the questions you have about, you know, veggies, fruits, and any other questions you might have, please go to your exotic veterinarian as they will also be able to advise you. There's just so many different reasons your rabbit's diet would be different than the standard diet recommended. So always talk to your vet. Every time you go in for the rabbit's yearly exam, discuss their diet, discuss everything like that, and make sure you're doing everything possible to keep your rabbit healthy and happy. But that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you very soon in a new one. Bye.